While our commentary is generally family friendly, The Walking Dead Season 3 is rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Stephen and Mal play The Walking Dead Season 3. On the last episode, Mal was in control, uh, snuck into the post office with Gabe, started to get some guns, got stabbed, had to go get stitched up by Clem, um, who also learned that she was having a period. And then we had a flashback to Clem, um, and we learned a little bit more about the fact that after she left the New Frontier, Ava went and found her, and they established a little bond of friendship. And also, um, there was a separate flashback, actually, where she and Jane talked about some stuff. Yeah. Flashback episode. Uh, today, I'm in control, and uh, we have just come out of the flashback with Clem. I'm curious to see what she's going to say. There's things I have to stay alive to do. Is he gonna wake up? I don't know. So, what do you think? I think I'm getting better. That was fast. There's not much to it. The wound was pretty clean. Hmm. You coming? I still have to ask Lingard about AJ. Now you can. Hello, Clementine. Javier. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. There any chance he got out too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. Joan took him before I got out. I haven't seen him since. That poor bastard. He's... he's not getting out. Guess there's only one sure way to get away from Joan these days. Why do you care if David got out? He deserves what's coming to him. If you think that, you don't know David. I know he's the reason I lost AJ. When AJ recovered, David was the one who stepped up personal responsibility for that kid. You say that like it's a good thing. I really doubt he was a positive influence. David's the reason the kid's better off now than, than he's ever been. You can be as mad as you want about how, about how things panned out. The fact of the matter is, David's been good for AJ, among others. That's not fair. David can be a good father. Maybe to his own kids. That doesn't mean I trust him with AJ. You should. David Garcia is a good man. Yeah, I'm sure he'd agree with you. Sorry if I don't. I stand by what I said. If David's taken such good care of him, why did he tell me to ask you where AJ is? That's what this is about, then. You... You want to know where the boy is? Hmm. What do you want? I... I just want to die. I want you to inject this into me. Uh Hang in there. Tomorrow's another day. I can't. When your brother found me, he... He got me to care about everything I'd given up on. My life. Other people. Even this goddamn place. Without him around. I don't want to care anymore. Just tell me where he is! Then you won't have any reason to do it. Hmm. Javi, I have to know. I've been looking for too long. I agree. He's saying he won't tell you if you don't do it. 
I'm sorry, Clem. We can't do this. Oh, wait, what? No, I have to. If you won't, I will. Clem, stop. He's not in his right mind. You can't do this. <sighs> Let go of me. I'm taking the deal. We'll find AJ, just not this way. There is no other way. Where is... You can consider the deal. Oh. No! Javi! How could you? Well, I misunderstood what the balls is going on, so that's so probably why. It. It's your funeral. Especially now. Now that Jones rounding up all alleged traitors. You better hope she doesn't find you. Hang in there, buddy. I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't have killed him. Oh, hey. I just thought that it, Hi, that refuse Clementine. meant to find out where AJ Surprised was. Surprised to see you here. Yeah, right back at you. You all good? Yeah, we're all set. Let's roll. Also, do you really think mm. the game would have good told to us? You. I don't know. I don't. Uh, I don't know. Something would have happened. It always does. So I'm not convinced. But I wouldn't have killed him. I just wanted to know where AJ was. But having known that it would have killed him, I wouldn't have done it. So I guess my answer was still the same. Javi, you're back. And Clementine. Thanks for the warm welcome. Just surprised to see you is all. Guys, this is Ava. Oh she's... yeah, I know who she is. She's got a hell of a punch. Nice to meet you. Good to see you, Ava. Oh, hell. You okay? Yeah. It looks worse than it is. Don't worry about it. Kate's lying down in the other room for a bit. So you got the guns, huh? We got them, all right. One for you, and one for you. Merry Christmas. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. I gave you the smallest one, Clementine. Actually, it wouldn't hurt to have another. Thanks. What took you so long? We went to see Dr. Lingard. At night? I'm kind of surprised he was sober. It's got to be a stressful job, looking after an entire community. He was definitely not 100% there, that's for sure. Sounds about right. Also, how long has Eleanor been here? Why don't you go talk to Kate? Okay. Okay. Can't Ava help you? The sun will be rising. Or Eleanor. Jones people know we're holed up here, and they're gonna come looking for us. All of us. Ah, for fuck's sake. Maybe it's not as bad as we think. Fucking figures. And there's no going anywhere with those things blocking our exit. They like me, that has to help somehow. Just cause they like you doesn't mean they're gonna like the rest of us. We're sitting ducks up here. We can't just wait around here to get shot, that's for damn sure. We've still got time to get in front of this before Joan can do anything. Yeah! Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not gonna sit around and wait for her to find us. I'm liking the cut of your jib, Javi. We can't just cut and run, not with the herd out there. Like it or not, we're fucking stuck in Richmond. Now how the fuck are we gonna put the brakes on this thing? Joan and her people are going to be at the square, right? We need to bring the fight to them. We go after Joan, our problems are solved. Great. So, how do we do that? It's a good question. Joan will probably have a full security detail with her. She'll be insulated from us and from anybody in Richmond who doesn't agree with what she's doing. If there are good people left in Richmond who are against what Joan's doing, we need to ask for their help. If we can talk to the people at the trial, present the case to everyone in Richmond, we might not have to do this on our own. We light the match, the people do the rest. After we take Joan out, we're gonna need some way out of this mess. Now, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm not much of a runner. We've got a truck, a big one, that we used to use for walker defense. It's a little busted up, but it's way better than nothing. People are gonna be patrolling these streets looking for us. How far away is this truck? I'll show you. We've been expanding, pushing out further, making the safe zone even bigger. Can't promise you they've cleared all the walkers yet, but that's where the truck's part. I could spit and hit it. We steal that thing, nothing will be able to stop us. Steal what? Hey. Jesus, Javi, 
Is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right okay. through that bandage. You should have told me as soon as you got in. Things went a little sideways at the end. Gabe got in the way. A guard what? came I out didn't with say that. in the shoulder. I thought you guys were going to be careful out there. Hey, don't worry about it. It is what it is. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? Eleanor, can you take a look at this? I specifically tried not to clean, blame Gabe. It should be okay. <laughs> Would you guys stop making such a big deal about it? Throw Gabe under it the happened. bus. It's over. Move on already. I'm just trying to make sure he's okay, Gabe. What we need to be talking about is the plan. Oh, I have a bunch of ideas. I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. It's not a bad place to start. And it's good you want to help. We've got to talk it through before we settle on anything. Just as long as I get to come along. Not that I don't appreciate the can-do attitude, but I don't know if you're invited, little man. I think I agree with Trip. Ugh, this is bullshit! I'm not staying behind. Gabe, take a breath. He's my dad. I'm going. It's going to be dangerous out there, and I don't want anyone else getting hurt. If we get to save dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. Oh God. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun and I know how to use it. No way anybody is dying, not today. That's why we have to take the time to talk it through so everybody comes out okay. Nobody here is gonna let you be a martyr, Gabe. Your life is precious. Life is precious? Then how come you shot Conrad, huh? Back in the tunnel, when he came after us, he tried to bargain with you. I saved your life too, in case you didn't remember that part. So what? You shot him. You killed him. What the fuck, Javi? Is she telling the truth? You murdered my friend? What the fuck did you do that for? He had a gun on them. If I hadn't killed him, he was gonna shoot Clementine and Gabe. He's telling the truth. When Conrad found out that I used to run with New Frontier, he went crazy. He would have pulled the trigger, no question. I guess we'll never know, right? Because he's not here to tell his side of things. You made sure of that. Looks like you're a pretty fucking dangerous person to be around, Avi. First you kill my friend, then you get me and my friends on Joan's shit list? I think you need to give us some space, Javi. Fuck that. I don't want to see you ever again. Well, maybe I'd be better off with Joan. At least I know she wants to stab me in the back. You get the fuck out and you stay gone, or I can't be held accountable. You feel me? We can take care of ourselves. Hell, we stick around you much longer, you'll probably kill us too. I'm sorry it happened the way it did. Really. Conrad wasn't a bad guy. The situation was just... just fucked. We better go get that truck. I'll, uh, get my stuff. Then call you on the walkie when I see things getting started in the square. To be fair, Conrad had a gun to a kid's head. Yeah. Sorry. Like, yeah, I, I made that call and I would have shot him again. The minute you put a gun to a kid's head and you start threatening that kid, that's when we have a problem. I do not regret that decision at all. Conrad was crazy. Even if he acted out of place for, for how he was feeling, that does not excuse what he did. I also saw the whole apartment Clinton, scene going differently. You come with me to get the truck. Gabe and Kate, you guys hang back here. Be ready for anything. I see what's going on. You're punishing me? Because I told everyone what you did, right? Screw that. I'm going to get the truck. You stay behind and keep watch. Hey, Gabe. Come on. I need you to watch my back on this one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I guess somebody needs to be a lookout. 
What? Nothing. Gabe and I will be fine back here. Good going, Clem. My god. What is happening? What do you want, Javi? All quiet out there? Yeah. You don't need to worry about it, okay? I know it sucks sometimes, but you've got to be a team player. It's about thinking of everyone. I get it, okay? Just quit treating me like a kid all the time. Gabe is a lot like his dad. Mm -hmm. Like, holy crap, you are David's son. Let's look out here and see what we got. Weak fence. Psh, that fence is weak. Oh, they like lights. Look what you've done. Gotta be careful. Any more muertos pushing, and those boards won't hold up. Well, let's not. Why dance. don't you take a board off? Use it for protection. <laughs> yes, let's make it weaker. Seems like a great idea. Oh, this map. looks like one of the areas Richmond is expanding into. Big green check marks. Perfect. Can you examine it again? Uh, I don't think it's going to do anything, but maybe. Just lets me look at it again. Hmm, pointy. Hmm, pointy. Got the truck. Is there anything back this way? <laughs> no. Jab. Jab. Take the pill or something. Let's see what's in the truck. Locked. We can't catch a break. <sighs> Where those would probably rip this old truck apart in seconds. What are they, piranhas? <laughs> yep, for metal. Uh, okay. That's a thing. This thing looks like it moves too slow for an escape. But you'd be armored. At least like, one person. One person. This probably moves faster. Guess they'll be using that for construction once they've cleared this area. Hmm. Garage door. Forklift. Forklift. Perfect. Sturdy. But only room for one. Also doesn't have doors, which I think is probably... Important. Ma yeah, maybe a bigger mm -hmm. issue. Everyone keeps... Oh, uh, garage. Everyone keeps writing jab. What's up with jab? It's what you're gonna have to do later. Remember, jab. Got it. I'm better there at swinging. Is. Let's go. I never talked to Clem. I mean, I don't know if I could have, but probably. Taxi. Hey, hey, hey! Come on over and have some fun with Crazy Taxi. What are the chances? I'd say about fifty-fifty. Open for me. Smart ass. Who's that? Whoop. Hell yeah. This graveyard shift is killing. Oh, let me get some there. Early risers. Come on, we gotta hurry and finish before more people wake up. What are we gonna do? We can't start the engine. Not without attracting a lot of attention. Kate, you steer. The rest of us are going to get behind the truck and push. See if we can't get some distance between us and them. Do they still not know I'm not in jail? I guess not. They just never Maybe they didn't check. bother to come look for you. Ready? Ready. Oh, God. Ready. Here goes something. Push. Is the garage door open enough? <laughs> Clang. Yeah, slam. I guess we opened it. Somewhere along the line. Turns out you needed me after all, huh? 
I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. I'm glad you were here, okay? At least you can admit it. Yeah. Well, it turns out you're pretty useful when you actually follow directions. Well, that's a truck. Don't think those guys will be able to hear the engine all the way over here. Oh, yeah, right. I put it in neutral. Couldn't find an ignition key in there. Guess you'll have to hotwire it. What? <laughs> Javier Garcia's. Try not to shock yourself. A brilliant vehicle Shit. hot wirer. I'll need something to strip the wires. They left all their supplies lying around. Bet there'll be some tools out there somewhere. Just try to hurry, okay? I'm sorry, this is bonkers. Why does a baseball superstar know how to hot wire a vehicle? I mean, like. I don't know. Like, I was not expecting him to say, guess I'll have to hotwire it. I was get, I was expecting him to say, we'll have to find the key. But, alright. I'll probably need wire cutters. <laughs> oh, hi, friend. How are you doing? Doing okay? Uh, you need to die. Don't appreciate that. Almost there. Keep an eye out while I get it started, okay? I'll check on the guys in the office. Clem and I will look out for walkers. Okay. Here goes. It's time for a mini game. Mini game. I gotta hot wire this car, and that's insane. <laughs> wire cutter should help with this. <laughs> uh, ignition wire. Battery wire. Starter wire. So wait, what, what do I do? <laughs> I don't want to cut the battery, right? No, I wanna, don't cut the battery. I want to cut the starter uh -huh. and the ignition and yeah. just wire them together. Uh -huh. Shoop. Okay. Starter. Cut. Shoop. Wait. Wait, why am I cut? Do, do I need to cut all of them? Maybe. Got to connect the battery to the ignition. At least it's telling me what to do. Uh, battery, battery. Power ignition. Where's the battery? Oh. Let there be light. I, I I very extremely doubt that hot wiring a car is is just this. <laughs> is this is this it? Is this what there is to it? You just cut three wires and you start to twist them together and then everything's just happy go lucky. Oh shit! Twist faster, hobby. Don't get electrocuted! Don't get electrocuted! Javi, hurry up! I am the greatest. Hey, let's go now. And as we know, it is impossible for the people in the office to hear this. Oh, they ran out just now. See him? <laughs> Sucks for you. See you later. Meanwhile, the square is a couple of blocks away. This is a good place to wait. Do we have enough gas? Well, I'm not about to turn the engine off again. What now? We wait for Ava to call us on the walkie. So, nothing for us to do but sit and watch the sun come up. Well, I know we've got something important to do. I'm teaching you to play Euchre. <laughs> That's not a real thing. It's a card game. Come on, it's fun. Steven, you it's know how nice to play to Euchre? driving around with a couple kids in the back seat again. I really don't. Really takes you back, doesn't it? Just you and me and Gabe and Mari. You're right. This is nice. If I just close my eyes, we're right back where we were. All of us together. Do what I do. Try to think about the nice stuff. Not everything that happened after. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. That's not even a good rule. Still gotcha. 
Guess he stopped playing it cool with her. Hmm? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, Gabe's got a little crush on Clementine. He light likes her. You get it? Well, okay, I sort of am. Kind of amazing, isn't it? That in the middle of all this, they find time to flirt with each other. Guess it just goes to show. You stick two people together, something's going to happen between them. I'm just glad it's the good kind of something this time around. It's so normal, you know? Like, as crazy as things get, as terrible and tragic and just plain stupid, there's nothing more wonderfully ordinary as two kids falling for each other. Not that they're there yet, but to feel something that intensely for another person, kind of like the best drug there is. Hey, the falling in love is the easy part. It's the staying in love part that'll really mess you up. It's unfair, that's all I'm saying. That they're feeling what they're feeling right now, and when that sun gets a little higher, it's right back to the fight. I just wish he could have had a childhood, you know? I wish I could have given them that. Him and Mari, both. They deserved better than this. That's why we're doing this thing, right? So he can have a better life after everything's said and done? You're right. I know you're right. I hope you know, Javi. Having you there with me, right by my side, all this time... That's what made the difference. You're so sure of what you're doing all this for. You didn't run away. You could have. But you didn't. I'm here so I can set an example for people. For Gabe especially. Someone to be proud of. Someone who sticks around. I get it. There's no graceful way to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. I know we've had moments, you and I. And they're always a little hot and a little confusing and maybe some of them haven't meant anything at all, <laughs> but Sometimes it's like you're a different person, Javi. I, um, I've actually <laughs> been over time, and I'm like, I really need to get out of this. Um, so I'm stopping it there. She's confessing feelings or something. Ain't my problem. That's your problem. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, another huge cliffhanger, but that's how we do it. Uh, next episode, Mao is in charge. I'm actually surprised at how long this chapter is. It yeah. Seems to be, from what I can tell, longer than some of the previous chapters. Mao will be taking the reins next time and presumably wrapping it up. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time for more Stephen and Mao play The Walking Dead Season 3.